A homeless man runs into a lost little girl crying on the street and approaches to help her. He goes door to door looking for her parents, but when all his attempts fail, he takes a big risk that earns him a second chance in life. Sometimes, life gives us a second chance or even two, and what you do with such second chances is what counts. One homeless man's story is proof of how those second chances have the power and magic to transform bad days into good days. Jonathan had been living on the streets after losing his only home in a catastrophic flood 15 years ago. He lost his very faith in life, let alone the ability to dream about getting a second chance to improve his living conditions. One day, he fled from the cops and an angry mob of people after he desperately stole a fruit from a store. Jonathan hid behind a wall and was drawn toward a little girl stranded alone in the middle of the road. She seemed lost and was crying. Jonathan decided to ignore her at first, but the girl was whining and he couldn't just walk away. He mustered the courage, put the fruit in his coat pocket, and approached her. Hey there, what are you doing alone out here? Where is your mother? Jonathan looked around to ensure nobody was watching. He was already having a troubled day with cops looking for him and was scared. The girl was terrified, rubbing her eyes. She said, I want to go to Mama and Papa. Please take me home. Ma'am, how did you come here? And what is your name? Asked Jonathan, looking worried. My name is Ashley. I was playing with my cat. He ran away, and I ran after him. I turned around to go home, but don't remember the way. Jonathan witnessed what miracles really looked like when two strangers came for him with a life-changing piece of news. Jonathan looked around and realized they were standing in a junction. There were three other roads, and Ashley could not remember which road led to her neighborhood. He could not leave the girl alone like that, and at the same time, he did not want to take her to the police station as it would put him in more trouble. After a moment of thought, Jonathan decided to help the girl himself. He took her door to door in the different neighborhoods, looking for her parents, but it was not that easy. Time was running out, and Jonathan had to find Ashley's parents before sunset. He knocked on every door but was turned away. He realized the girl would be hungry and gave her the fruit he had stolen that morning. It was all that he had for dinner. The weather was slowly turning rough, so he removed his coat and put it around her so she would stay warm. Jonathan did everything he could to find her parents, but did not succeed. The girl started to cry again, and Jonathan looked helpless. He could not afford to let the child spend the night with him on the street, so he made a willful decision. Despite knowing he would be arrested for theft, he braved his way to the local police station with the girl, begging for help to find her parents. Arrest him! The chief ordered. Jonathan was put behind bars, but he was only concerned about Ashley. Sir, please help her find her parents, he pleaded. The officers questioned Ashley about her whereabouts. They checked for any missing persons report, but found none. Later, they got a call from another police station in the same town about a couple who had filed a report for a missing child. Is the girl's name Ashley, officer? The inspector asked the other cop. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she is five years old, replied the cop. The girl was taken to her parents immediately, and Jonathan sighed relief in jail. He was happy Ashley had finally gone home safe and sound. He anticipated a lengthy jail sentence for theft, but the next day, he witnessed what miracles really looked like when two strangers came for him with a life-changing piece of news. Hello, Inspector, I'm Alex, said a man dressed in rich clothes. I have come here to bail that man out. Jonathan could not believe his eyes when Alex pointed toward him. We've paid the fine in court. Here are the papers. Please send him with us, he added. Moments later, Jonathan was brought out. He did not understand what was happening until the couple offered a reward that would turn his life upside down and ward off all his miseries. Hi, I'm Alex, Ashley's father, and this is my wife, Samantha. Jonathan, my daughter told me about you last night. I'm deeply grateful to you for helping her out yesterday. We cannot imagine what would have happened to her if you hadn't found her. Thank you so much, said Samantha. Jonathan was overwhelmed by their gratitude. He thanked them for bailing him out when another surprise unfolded. We have a small outdoors that we want to rent to you. You can stay there for free, offered Alex, bringing tears of joy to Jonathan. Oh my God, really? He cried. 
Yes, I know it's nothing compared to your help, but please accept it. If that were not enough, Alex also offered Jonathan a job as a security guard with decent salary. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay you for your kindness, sobbed Jonathan. You don't have to repay us. You have earned it for your quick thinking and helping mind, said Samantha. Jonathan happily accepted the offer and moved in with the kind family. That day, his hope was restored, and he started believing in miracles. Jonathan, a homeless man who used to curse his fate, earned a second chance in life that rewarded him with better days and a home, thanks to his kindness and selflessness.